Hello, I'm working on a model to represent different elements of the learning context, and I'd love to get your input on it. So I'm trying to find ways to combine school work and private learning with face-to-face -face and online learning, with synchronous and asynchronous interactions, formal learning and informal learning, and learning as an individual, collaboratively or as an expert. So the learner in the context. Here is our learning scape, the place where learning happens. In the middle, we've got the learner. I'm going to divide it here into three different elements. First one is the private environment. The second one is the work environment. And the third one is the school environment. Now in the middle, I'm going to make another division here uh, in the learning landscape. And this is to do with face to face. Everything that happens in this blue section in the center is face to face. That means you're physically in the same space as the person you're learning with. The next uh, level is online. And here you can see this outer circle here is online, the different interactions. And I'm going to split online into two different elements. The first element, the inner ring here, that is going to be what we call synchronous. And here you can see the clocks are all on the same time. So you're learning at the same moment in time. The people you're interacting with, whether it's a teacher or a fellow students, are in the same moment in time. That can be in person, face to face, or it can be online. And the second level of the online is when we're learning asynchronously. Here you can see all the clocks are at a different time. And when we learn asynchronously, it's, that's when you choose, when you learn, and the people you're learning with do not have to be in the same moment in time. Right, I'm going to add one additional level. This is this ring on the outside you can see. And this is formal learning. Formal learning is learning as part of a fixed curriculum, a set uh, program you're following to get a certificate. It's training as part of a sort of structured learning process. And the second level is informal learning. A lot of learning happens informally. That's how we've always learned throughout history, just on our daily life, in our daily life. So this is the main model I uh, present to you. I'd love to get your input on it. I'm going to give you some examples of each of these sections to try to bring a little bit of color in. So the first one I'd like to look at is learning in private. So here we are, we're in the private, this sphere over here on the right hand side. It's face to face, it's synchronous, that those are interactions are happening at that moment and it's informal learning. This is how we've learned really throughout history, watching our parents interacting in the same moment in time, just picking up skills by observing and doing hanging out with friends, chatting, discussing, or maybe playing in a sport, in a team. That's informal learning in your own time. The next level is formal learning in that context. And here you can see somebody learning to drive a car at the same moment in time. Uh, it's a formal because it's part of a certificate that they will get. Online synchronous, that means you're now online in the same moment in time. It's informal learning. That could be playing a game. Here you can see somebody playing developing digital skills, de developing teamwork, collaboration skills. It's online, it's synchronous, but there's no certificate, but there's fun involved. And informal learning could be somebody who's decided to take an additional course. It's a live lecture. They can interact with a person who's giving the lecture. They get a certificate at the end. It's private, it's in their own time, just out of their interest. So this is the first level private. And you can also see online asynchronous. This is the second level when we go to uh, formal learning that takes place. And this would be somebody who's decided to follow a course and now they're watching a pre-recorded lecture uh, of the content and informal learning would be somebody hanging out watching TV at the weekend, watching their favorite series. And that's informal learning because there's no fixed curriculum, but they're learning about history or learning about the world and it's happening at a time of their choice. So that was learning uh, in the private environment. Now we'll look at learning at work. So this, we're going to start here in the center area, face to face and synchronous. That means you're learning informally at work. Quite a lot of learning happens in that context, just by watching somebody, seeing what they're doing, picking up information and observing that's informal learning at work. Just uh, maybe interacting with somebody, asking some questions, no official training, but you're learning as you go. Formal learning would look maybe like actually carrying out your job, working as a, uh, an assistant or a receptionist, getting feedback on the skills you're doing, or at an official training workshop in your uh, 
environment at work where you're getting a sort of a certain uh, information presented, you can interact live with the uh, trainer. Now if you move online at work, synchronous, that's in the same moment in time, formal learning might be following a, uh, a Teams meeting where you have a training and you have to uh, interact and you can ask questions and you need to pass this course to get a certificate. Informal learning could be just hanging out with your colleagues, chatting with them, talking, discussing and getting ideas. You're learning quite a lot about the company where you work or the environment you work in an online synchronous environment. Finally, we move to the online asynchronous. Now you see somebody is just informally interested in something, picking up, uh, checking something in um, when they need to check it. Uh, there's no synchronous interactions. It's asynchronous at a moment of time they want and they can get feedback, but asynchronously. And if we look at formal learning, we've got the same person who was studying a live interaction, live training at work. Now he's uh, following up on some pre-recorded content that he can watch in his own time. So that was uh, learning at work. Now we look at learning at school and learning at school um, is where we traditionally think that a lot of learning takes place. Face to face synchronous. And I've started with informal learning. What might that look like? Well, just social skills, developing, laughing, learning how to interact with people, learning how to um, deal with uh, feedback or confrontation. A lot of informal learning happening in the socialization at school. Formal learning at school, well here you can see people working in a project group, uh, well they'll get credits for it, they need to interact and they're in the same moment in time, same physical space. Here's the classic lecture where you can ask questions directly to the lecturer from the expert and you can interact with them and that's all part of the formal course. Or maybe you're working on a in a laboratory doing experiments, you've got a lot of technical equipment you need and you have immediate feedback and interactions with the lecturer and fellow students. If we move online at school, online synchronous in a formal context, well that will be following a web lecture, sorry, following a live stream from a teacher. You can see somebody in a Teams meeting, they're explaining. You can ask questions directly and that's part of the formal learning. Or you might be part of a project group physically present in one place but some of your team members are online. That's part of the project. You need to pass it, get your credits, and you're there for formal learning and it's online synchronous in a school environment. If we look at that informally, that would maybe be just hanging out, chatting to one of your friends, somebody who's, uh, you know, on your project group, nothing really to discuss. You're just interacting. It's informal. It's online. It's synchronous. And you're actually doing quite a lot of learning in that context. The final level of online is the asynchronous at school. If we look at formal learning, formal learning here, you can see a whole bunch of different students, all in a technology rich environment. They can all be at different moments in a course, choosing which bits of uh, the module they're working on, feedback uh, physically from a, a teacher or a teacher online, but they're all in their own moment in time. And here you see uh, the final part of formal learning. It's online, it's asynchronous, somebody watching a pre-recorded lecture uh, or a session that was recorded and following up on it asynchronously. It's in a moment of time when they would like. So those are the three main elements. And here's the original model if we have a look at this. And what I'm interested to know is does this cover it all? Does this cover all learning? So please let me know whether you think it does or whether, you know, there are things we can add to this model or modify. So I've covered the school, the work and the private environments. I've covered face to face and online. I've got the synchronous and asynchronous interactions, formal learning and informal learning. And of course, learning as an individual, learning in collaboration or learning from an expert. So my question to you is, can all the learning situations be mapped onto this model? How do learners transition between learning situations? How can we support learners when they transition from one environment to another? And how can we make the transitions effortless? That's the next area I'll be looking at. Let me know your comments or thoughts. Does it make sense? Please get in touch. And I'd like to give a big thanks to the creative photographers at Pexels for their wonderful images. Let me know what you think.